Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to my channel, The Empress and the Sun Tarot. This is a general energy update for Twin Flames for um, the next day or two. Today is Monday evening where I am, so I'm going to try to start doing an, any one every evening where I am. So um, this is for the next 24 hours or for whenever you're hearing it. Um, Time is linear, so just take whatever message resonates and leave the rest, please. So we will begin getting some energy for, we're going to get Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine and then the relationship. So current energy for the Divine Masculine. For the Divine Masculine, we get the Flexible card and the Blessed card. So, um. That's some beautiful energy for the Divine Masculine. So, we'll set those there. And then we are going to now get cards for the Divine Feminine. And the Divine Feminine gets the card Thinker. Hmm. Divine Feminine, make sure we're not up in our head too much with that energy. Um, and then we're going to pull also a card for the relationship. And the card for the relationship is Truth Be Told. Um, so, um, I'm going to take a little bit deeper look at that card. My guide's telling me to take a deeper look. Um, and that's what the card's showing, you know, to take a deeper look inside, you know, it's, it's the owl, but it's a window and, you know, that's, you know, the window into the soul. So I feel like it's saying, you know, um, you know what the truth is with where your relationship is. Um, the divine masculine got the blessed card, which is a 22 card, which is a master number. And the divine feminine got the 44 card, which is the thinker card. Um, the flexible card is a 19, and the truth be told is a 14 card. And the bottom of the deck is the yang card. Um, so I feel like that's definitely a time for, you know, that feminine. Um, I feel like the feminine energy is very strong right now. Um, we will get some tarot for the masculine energy, um, and then the feminine and the relationship as well. Um And this can be whether you're in union or in separation. Um, we are just going to kind of get some more cards and see where where the energy is leading. Um, it, it looks like the um, masculine maybe has been doing quite a bit of work. Um, looks like he's coming into balance. Um, and for doing that work, um, he gets the blessed card. You know, that's wonderful energy. Um, so it looks like the masculine is doing the work feminine. Um, sometimes we don't always think that, but it does, it does appear like he has been, you know, putting in the hard work, um, to work on that balance. Um, so, um, so energy for the divine masculine currently the twin flame. Here's it's only going to give us one card, and that is the Three of Pentacles. Um, and with that, you know, I feel like that is, you know, they're working on their their soul contracts. Um, when I get this card from myself, I feel it's like me and Dave and Celia working together. So um, I feel like it is, you know, the, your union working together with your higher self. Um, Maybe they're working on their connection with, you know, that higher self. Um, and so maybe they're more more focused on that connection currently than the connection with you. Because, um, you know, this other person is down here, you know, she's doing her own thing. And he's kind of focused over here. So, so you said in some cases that can be third party energy. But... 
you know, sometimes it's just that they're more focused on, you know, that other part of the path. Um, we're going to get another card for clarification for the Divine Masculine. So he says, um, to clarify that Three of Pentacles and the cards we get are the Strength card and the King of Wands. And the Eight of Cut or the Eight of Pentacles is on the bottom. So I feel like this is definitely saying that, you know, the divine masculine is working on stepping into his power and doing some, doing, you know, his healing work and, you know, really focusing on maybe gaining his connection, you know, to the higher self as well. So that is really good energy for the masculine. Um, now we're going to go to the feminine. The feminine's in this thinker energy, which. For me, that feels like the Eight of Swords energy. So we're going to see what cards come out for the feminine. Um, feminine, I hope you're not overthinking. Because, um, you know, the, the masculine can mirror you. And it looks like he's really, you know, putting the work in right now. Um, working on definite transformation. Stepping into his, you know, power. Because, um, you know, he gets the strength card. And then with the King of Wands, it has that lion, you know, on the back there as well. Um, So you told me to take that one. So the cards that came out for the feminine are the seven of wands and the four of wands, which equals 11 of wands. I can't help but notice. Um, and, you know, she's saying through your balance, you're going to, you know, by having boundaries and being grounded and centered. And I feel like they're both, you know, in that grounded energy, you know, this, you know, is that place we all want to be, you know, that's that 11, 11 card, that four of wands that, you know, um, I can't help but notice the nose 11. She's like, you know, four, seven of four is 11 and that's the 11, 11 card. Um, and the, and the, that card was out. And so you wanted me to pull it and it's the, you know, night of wands, which is Sag energy to me. Um, and I feel like that's saying, you know, focus on your own happiness, um, being grounded and balanced and just really focusing on, you know, what is your passion? You know, what what excites you? Um, I, I, I say happiness because I see that hierophant on there. And in this card, you know, she's like joyously happy, like very joyously happy, you know, and, you know, it's. It's definitely a lot of work. There are a lot of steps, you know, through this process. But when you're happy, it's going to make it overall come a lot easier. Um, I, I do notice that is both fire energy for both the masculine and the feminine with the knight of wands and the king of wands. Um, I also feel like that is, you know, is that masculine energy a little older? Sometimes, you know, with twin flame, it can be. A little bit older in some cases. Um, I just felt like there was one more card for the feminine. Which is the six of wands. So feminine, I feel like if you step into your happiness, that's going to... Really move your path forward. Bring, So you say and bring you into that victory. Because, you know, you have, you know... That laurel wreath there. Um, and, you know, she's definitely really celebrating her victory. So, um, and it looks like here, you know, she's out, you know, where she's being wild. And here it looks like she's a little more dressed up, you know. Um, so maybe a change of season, um, a change of location um, would do you some good, feminine. Um so maybe, um, maybe plan a little trip, even if it's just a day trip, um, you know, to make sure you're being grounded and balanced and not really being in that headspace. Um, that thinker card can, you know, sometimes if you're, you know, in a negative energy and I just feel negative because she looks like she's in a negative headspace, um, if you're in that, you know, it's going to kind of, you know, spiral things down to where if you're meditating, you know, that's going to bring much better, which it looks like you're going to spend some time feminine um, in the next day, really. Um, 
making sure you're balanced, uh, grounded. We are getting ready to go into that Sag season. So make sure you're doing things that make you joyful and happy. Um, and then we are going to get a card, um, some tarot for the relationship. Um, it's definitely ready to talk. Um, The first card that came out is the Four of Cups. Um, sometimes the Four of Cups is not really paying attention to what's being offered because you're daydreaming about over here of what's not going on to where there's really a gift that's being poured in, into that other cup. So make sure that you're, you know, paying attention to all the gifts and abundance that's being offered to you. Um, because I feel, I feel like there's a lot being offered because, you know, um, I had never really noticed. But look, that bowl has a hand under it where somebody is offering that bowl. So somebody is offering you the opportunity, you know, for the relationship, you know, to go maybe to the next level. Because the King of Pentacles, you know, that's pretty, you know, husband, father material, very focused, very determined, um, Celia so says wealthy as well. So, you know, he's in not a struggling position. He's in a very comfortable position. Um, and and that, that's how, you know, that should be. Um, so she says, you know, that's this is kind of how it feels like the energy is. The masculine is, you know, really working on focusing on his path. The word the feminine is maybe a little more focused on the masculine not being there right now. Um, so feminine. Um, the bottom of the deck is the death card, which is, you know, Scorpio energy. And it's also about transformation. And I feel you can transform that energy, um, you know, to bringing um, new communication. If there's not communication or even like a next level to a current relationship, if there is communication, just by doing your own work, um, you know, in the five of wands, a lot of times it's chaos and conflict, and it feels like some chaos and conflict going on, but it's also about everybody doing their own part um, to get to that higher goal. And I feel like the masculine, I feel like the masculine's working on his part, feminine. Are you working on yours? Um, you know, I feel like the universe is asking you now to step up and be a beacon and to shine your light. Um, yeah. So you're saying, yeah, it's definitely time to step up and be a beacon. Um, we're going to get some romance angels for guidance for the current energy. Um, the first card out is the you deserve love card. Um, you are lovable. So feminine, just know that if you're, you know, masculine's not in contact with you. Um, just know um, it does look like he's apparently, apparently going through a lot, you know, working to become that you know, king of wands, working, you know, working with that higher self, trying to gain that. Um, so the card of guidance is you deserve love and then love yourself first. So um, that is a pretty clear message of the energy of the day um, for the divine feminine, I feel, to, you know, really make sure you're being balanced and grounded and Focusing on in your own happiness, because um, if you're not focusing on, you know, your own independent happiness, um, then it's being very codependent. Um, you have to be able to have a life separate from your masculine. Yes, you have mission together, but you also have a separate mission. And I feel like the universe is knocking and saying it's time for you to, you know, stop waiting for the masculine to come, to come back to focus on your energy that it's time for you to, you know, this yang energy step into, you know, that power, you know, we get the free yourself card next. And the this could be the one. Um, I think you need to free yourself from that stuck energy of sitting and waiting. So um, feminine, um, are you holding yourself back waiting for the masculine to come back? If you are sitting and just waiting, um, it's it's going to just wait. Um, the universe is going to wait until you step into your path. Um, yeah, so he was very clear on that one. She said, until you step into your path. 
Um, and the next card is, yeah, we get that love yourself car first card again. So, um, and the bottom of the deck is finances and careers. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Um, I say it, I feel like it's saying pull your energy off the masculine and focus on filling your own cup up, your own financial stability. Um, and so you say in. You are the asset, you are the prize, um, but you have to also treat yourself that way. Um, so feminine, are, are you treating yourself that way? Are you treating yourself like you are the prize? Um, and treat yourself that way every day and not wait for anybody else to treat you that way. Um, so I, I feel like that's the energy of the day. You know, make sure you're meditating, divine feminine, staying grounded, divine masculine, um, Keep working on your work. It, it looks like you're definitely, you know, doing that work. Um, I I feel like the divine masculine's in the dark night of the soul and is doing the work. Um, divine feminine, um, and and I feel like they're getting a gifty from the universe for doing that work. So, um, you you know the truth about your relationship and. Honestly, the biggest part of the healing thing is you have to, you know, heal that energy of masculine and feminine within yourself. Um, I feel like the masculine's working on it. Um, so feminine, um, I feel like the call is for you to step up and you to work on it today. So um, I will be doing an energy update tomorrow. Um, thank you and have a great day. Bye.